All right, let's take a look at the brand new Windows Store. Of course, Microsoft has had Windows Store available since Windows 8, uh, but they have improved things a little bit in Windows 10. So first of all, they're going to start allowing for Win32 apps to be available in the Windows Store. I don't see that being an option just yet. I don't see those apps um, in the Windows Store just yet. However, they have redesigned the Windows Store for the modern apps or those WinRT apps. So on the home screen you have a nice slider up at the top here which features some of the best apps. These are getting updated uh, fairly frequently. We're still pre-launch technically. It's July 21st, so it's still a little bit of time before official launch here. Expect these to be updated more frequently after that, but right now they're featuring some good apps there. The great thing about the store is that it is very functional both with a touch screen or with keyboard and mouse. So when you bring the mouse in, you can see with touch screen we don't have the arrows, but when we bring the mouse in, those arrows come up so that we can scroll through here. So on the home screen, they have a few different categories. So picks for you. This is just based on your browsing history. I really haven't downloaded much from the store yet at this point, so this probably could be better, but this just shows you some apps that you might be interested in. And then beneath that, they have free games, best rated games, and then some new and rising games. And then below that are the apps that are downloaded most often from the Windows Store. The apps that are most downloaded that are not free. And then some more uh, great or best rated apps. And then just beneath that some other new and rising apps. So then they may make some suggestions if you're just getting started with Windows, uh, maybe Windows 10, maybe you should download these applications. These maybe are the things that people typically download first. Uh, Netflix definitely makes sense. OneNote, a few different Microsoft games there. Fresh Paint, Wonderlist. So those are some pretty good suggestions. Uh, in fact, I do want to download Wonderlist, so let's go ahead and take a look and see what that process looks like. So you can go ahead and see the description of the app. So just click once to go ahead and install that. Beneath that, you have information about what's recently been updated in the app, reviews of the app, and then beneath that you have screenshots. Uh, along the right side here are some other suggestions of apps you might like based on what other people have downloaded when they download this app. Now, maybe this is just a problem that I am personally having, but I've noticed that currently, uh, you know, and again, we are before Windows 10's official launch here, downloads are taking quite a lot of time from the Windows Store, so hopefully we see that speed up. You can also go to your own profile and view your purchased apps, your payment options, your account settings, and then things that are downloading currently. This here also shows you downloads that are currently happening. And that is where you can also find the check for updates feature. So if you want to see if there are new updates for your apps, you can go ahead and click that. Along the top, you can go to home. You can browse specifically for apps, for games, for music. You can purchase music here, which will be available through Groove Music and then Movies and TV. I do want to mention that you could go to the Groove Music or the Movies and TV apps to purchase those things as well. That's it for the Windows Store. Thanks for watching.